same tensions and dissatisfactions felt in Algiers erupt in Paris, touched off by first reports of the rioting in Algiers. On the Champs-Élysées, police clashed with the crowd, now become a mob, which is headed for the National Assembly, where the new middle-of-the-road government of Flamla is being voted on. News of the army coup galvanized the assembly. After nearly a month of indecision, Flamla was voted in with one of the greatest shows of unity in years. But the very next day came de Gaulle's pronouncement. He is willing to take over the powers of the Republic. New support came with the appearance in Algeria of Mediterranean Fleet Commander Admiral Philippe Obono, who announced his support for de Gaulle's cause. France's crisis seemed to be nearing ahead, and attention focused on the little village of Colombe of the two churches, de Gaulle's country retreat. Here he had waited for the call of his supporters, and from Colombe, General de Gaulle traveled to Paris with the crisis near its peak on a journey that could prove momentous for his career and the Fourth Republic.